Earlier today, the Great North Run took place in Newcastle, England, one of the most prestigious and high-performing half-marathons in the world. Every season, many of the world's best flock to this one competition to see just how fast they can run over the 13.1-mile distance. And for today's installment, we saw one of the most impressive half-marathon performances ever. Now, this race has an extremely deep history, as it goes all the way back to 1981. In fact, this race is actually the source of what I believe is the single greatest road race to ever occur, where Haile Geber Selassie, Mo Farah, and Kenanisa Bekele all competed against each other back in 2013. And with a shocking final mile of 4 minutes and 9 seconds, Farah and Bekele battled it out all the way to the finish, ultimately ending with Kenanisa Bekele winning in 1 hour and 9 seconds. Looking back on this one performance, it showcased a special blend of talent from these three legends, and what we just saw a few hours ago mimics this great half marathon in a striking way. Some of the more notable athletes set to compete in this 2022 edition include Kenanisa Bekele once again, Selimin Berega, and the half marathon world record holder, Jacob Kiplima from Uganda, who achieved a time of 57 minutes and 31 seconds back in 2021. Another very notable figure that was set to run in this race was Joshua Cheptegei from Uganda, the 10,000 meter world record holder and the 15K record holder. But unfortunately, he had to pull out of this race earlier in the week, citing certain injuries that kept him away from the road. Now for the opening 10 kilometers, we saw pretty common racing tactics from the entire field. For the opening few miles, the field hit split times of 4 minutes and 35 seconds, 4 minutes and 39 seconds, 4.44, and then another 4 minute and 44 second mile. At this current pace, the field was set to finish around 1 hour and 2 minutes. However, just after mile 5 was when we really saw the pace go down. For this 6th mile, we saw the world record holder himself, Jacob Kiplimo, drop a very quick time of 4 minutes and 28 seconds, a significant change of pace that managed to drop everyone except for both Selimin Berega and Kenanisa Bekele. Now it's important to mention that Bekele is actually 40 years of age, which is already a pretty crazy fact in and of itself, and even though he was still in the running for the victory at this point, he was also competing to break the Masters world record, which currently stands at 60 minutes and 41 seconds, set by none other than Haile Geber Selassie at this very event back in 2013. Now back to Kiplimo up front, this move already proved to be very significant. But, the young 21-year-old superstar was just getting started. For the next six miles, Kiplimo went on an absolute tear of half-marathon dominance. For his seventh mile, he split a time of 4 minutes and 27 seconds, again striking the fear of the world record into the hearts of his competition. However, it would ultimately be mile 8 where he made his most significant acceleration of this event. For this 8th mile, Kiplimo achieved a time of 4 minutes and 23 seconds, a huge pace change that now placed him firmly in the lead. This 3 mile stretch over the 6th, 7th, and 8th miles was achieved in 13 minutes and 18 seconds, which I mean, is just downright beastly. Kiplimo really knows how to run any road racing event, but especially the half marathon, he's just so smooth, so strong, and just makes it look effortless. At this point, the race was all but over, as Kiplimo's lead was closing in on one minute. However, this did not slow down Kiplimo in the slightest, because from mile 9 all the way to the finish, he again threw down incredible splits, achieving times of 4.35, another 4.23, and for his final two miles, he ran two consecutive 4 minute and 30 second splits. Just incredible stuff from Jacob Kiplimo. With a finishing time of 59 minutes and 33 seconds, Kiplimo managed to take down the second place finisher Selimin Berega by 1 minute and 6 seconds, and finishing very strong in third was none other than Kenanisa Bekele, who finished in 1 hour, 1 minute, and 1 second, exactly 20 seconds away from the Masters world record of Haile Geber Selassie. At 59.33, Kiplimo averaged 4 minutes 32.55 seconds per mile, or just under 2 minutes and 50 seconds per kilometer. This was a perfect tactical display of superior strength from Kiplimo. With his silky smooth and powerful stride, he was able to push whenever he wanted to, and he was rewarded with one of the most dominant wins in this event's history. 
Since placing second to Kibiwat Candier in the 2020 Valencia Half Marathon, where he achieved an incredible time once again of 57.37, Kiplimo has been on an untouchable winning streak in the half, and with yet another dominant display, he's on his way to becoming one of the best road runners to ever compete. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.